A new day means a new Agentic IDE. Today we're introducing Atthis, one of the most lightweight production ready code editors that's out there. It's fully open source and it is Agentic. Atthis is a sleek Agentic AI code editor that is built with Vim mode, Git integrations, React, TypeScript, and Tari. It's designed for developers who want a fast, customizable, and intelligent development environment without the bloat. Whether you're coding solo or leveraging AI assistance, this is a code editor that is going to bring speed, flexibility, and intelligence. And the thing is with this editor, it's not just a VS Code clone. This is something that was built from scratch and it has many features that you wouldn't see typically with most editors. And the best part is it's super easy to install for whatever operating system you may have, whether that's Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. You can head over to the GitHub repo, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. But say if you want to access the latest features like the new Markdown preview support, icon themes, and a couple of other things, you can simply head over to the changelog and then download it based off of whatever operating system you may have. So for Windows, you would want to download the EXE installation, and then you can click on that and then set it up using this installer. And there we go. This is at this. You can simply go ahead and open up your code base. And once you have opened up the folder, you can use all of the features of at this. This is just a simple little rules file that I have. And I just open it up to showcase how it looks. You have the terminal that you can access on the bottom left. On the top right, you can access the AI chat. It's agentic and you can use any state of the art model. You can simply configure it by heading over to the settings, select your API provider like OpenAI, or you can use a local provider or something like Open Router. And once that is set, you can then go ahead and provide the API key and select the model that you want to use from that provider. Now, one thing I recommend is use Google Gemini because you can use their free API tier within at this and this is where you can get a good amount of flexibility and usage out of the gemini models completely for free now make sure you have the ai features enabled like ai chat as well as ai completion and a couple of other things like auto scroll or the syntax highlighting also just an fi i had some troubles finding where i need to paste in my api key to do that simply head over and scroll down to the api key section and you want to basically open up this drop-down menu, which will showcase the providers and where you can paste in your API key. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And just a fair note, guys, this is something that was developed by one developer. And it's something that I know is stated to be production ready, but it is still fairly new. And it's super hard for anyone to actually build any sort of editor from scratch. It took Zed approximately a couple of years to actually refine their overall code editor. And yet it's still not at the same level as most code editors that are out there. And in this case, if you are facing a lot of issues with the application, with the beta version that you can get from the changelog, you can use the official installation method. And that way, it will be a bit easier to run. You won't face a lot of network issues. And this way, you can easily get started with it and start using it directly. But here is a rough preview of it. And you can see that it is a nice intuitive code editor. You have inline edits, so if you want to make changes, you can definitely commit them directly. You have autocomplete. You also have it so that you can use the AI chat, which we had talked about. And to do so, just simply open it up. You can open up multiple pages, and you can send in any sort of natural language request to code out almost anything. But here is the single shot CRM dashboard that it generated. Now, it is something that is functional, which is the main thing. It doesn't look entirely appealing, but overall, I guess it did get the job done and it did it with the Gentic capabilities. This is just one simple feature that you can get out of it. There's a lot of other things that you can do, but you can typically do most of these things with most editors. It's more about the experience as well as the lightweight experience that you get out of at this. But as you use this editor, you'll start to realize how impressive it is in terms of helping you code faster and smarter. It removes all the bloat with most of these code editors that are out there. And there's a lot of features to it. You have a Vim mode where you have full key bindings for lightning fast editing. 
And this is where you can experience model editing at its finest with this. You have Git integrations with built-in support that lets you manage different sorts of branches, commits, as well as diffs without leaving the editor. You have syntax highlighting where you can get beautiful highlighting for all major programming languages. You have agentic AI with the support of so many different providers and language servers where you can have LSP support for intelligent code completion, coder definition, and seamless refactoring. And overall, all of this is with the lightning fast structure. They also have an extension store. So if you click on this, you can actually access a lot of the different types of extensions that you would within VS Code. Not all of them, but you do have a good amount of flexibility with different sorts of extensions related to coding, databases, or even just basic themes. A subtle feature, but you also have the ability to edit images directly inside the editor itself. This is going to give you more flexibility working with a lot of different sorts of tech stacks. The global search feature is also impressive. You can see that it is able to rapidly go through all of your different files, a part of your code base and get you the correct context that you're requiring, which is why this code editor is basically promoted a lot across a lot of the different forums because of its lightweight and fast experience. It has a built-in SQL SQLite viewer, which is perfect for developers who want a fast, customizable and intelligent development environment. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And in terms of their roadmap, they're focusing more on agentic AI editing for their next volume of versions. They're also going to implement more extensions, a part of their store. So I guess these are the next two things that they have stated. Currently, they're just refining a couple of other features that they had introduced already. But overall, with these new updates and new features coming soon, this could be a great editor that most people could actually get started with. And it's something that's open source. So you will be able to use this completely for free and locally. So let me know what you guys think about this. This is definitely something that I really wanted to make a video on for a long time. It's just it came uh, to my mind recently because I saw a couple of snippets by the developer talking about the new release. So hopefully this is something that can help you guys out. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. If you haven't already, this is where my team and I are posting more on a frequent basis. So go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Make sure you join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell over here. Make sure you go ahead and take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly.